Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Dear brothers and sisters, in this weekly meeting, we try to know more and more how to strengthen our relation with Allah Azza wa Jal. We try to figure out, we try to found the real way to Allah Azza wa Jal. This is very important thing for all the humanity. This is the way of happiness. This is the way of truth. But unfortunately, most of the people don't care. Most of the people go stray. Most of, of the people don't think about this matter. And this thing is, as I said, it is something essential in everyone's life. And Allah Azza wa Jal put to us the way to this, to way, the way how to love him, the way how to connect to him, the way how to make dhikr and feel him and talk to him and pray to him. And all these Allah Azza wa Jal put it in one straight way, as-sirat al-mustaqim. And he asked us every day, to seek his help. Ask us every day to ask him, to make dua to him, to pray to him, to guide us to the straight way. And as I said, every day at least 17 times, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, اهدنا الصراط المستقيم. But after I ask Allah, please guide me to the best university or to the best college, I make research, I ask the expert people, I make one. But after we ask Allah, guide us to the straight way, what did we do? Nothing. We just making dua. Dua alone do nothing. Dua without acting is nothing. Dua is just talking. If I sit in my uh, place and, oh Allah, bring me food, bring me food. And there is... Uh, 10 yards between me and the kitchen and the food in the kitchen. If I didn't move, if I should go to kitchen and the food in the kitchen is bounty from Allah. The meat bounty is from Allah. Everything, the fruit the, is gift from Allah for all the humanity. But Allah Azza wa Jal put a law to this. Allah Azza wa Jal draw to us a straight way how to get this And, and, and what is amazing is Allah Azza wa Jal not only ask us to be in the straight way, Allah Azza wa Jal, he put to him a straight way also. Allah act with us on a straight way. Some people and some religious people make that or convince the people that Allah act with us as a lottery. Those people in hellfire, those people in paradise. No, it is not. No, it is not. Allah, in very clear way, acting with us. Allah make everything clear to us. And this is what Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned on, in the ayah number 56 in Surah Hud. The number of Surah Hud is number 11. Surah Hud is number 11, ayah 56. And this is what Hud, alayhi salam, the Prophet Hud said that. He said, إِنِّي تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ مَا مِنْ دَابَّةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ آخِذٌ بِنَاصِيَتِهَا إِنَّ رَبِّي عَلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Indeed, I have relied upon Allah, my Lord and your Lord. There is No creature, but that he holds it for look. Indeed, my Lord is 
on a path that is straight. So my Lord on a straight path, Allah act with us. What does that mean? That mean all the promises Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran, Allah will fulfill it. Everything Allah Azza wa Jal warn us from it, Allah will do it. So there are many uh, conditional sentences. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يرى. Anyone do any small things, good things, Allah will reward him. And any small things, bad things, Allah will punish him. But according to the condition that he is believing God and he is doing this in God if it is a good things. So Allah Azza wa Jal clarify to us and in another ayah Allah said هذا صراط علي مستقيم this is straight way to me how I deal with you how, how I act with you how I will judge you how I clarify to you وما كنا معذبين حتى نبعث رسولا we will not punish any nation until we send to them a messenger so some people said Oh, always ask this question. Someone in Japan and he didn't know and he didn't know anything about the religion and about God, how God will punish him? Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Allah is the justice. Allah al-adil. Allah al-adil. And, and he will act completely in a justice way. So don't worry. Allah loves us. Allah wants us to be good. Allah wants us to be in the heaven. Allah created to us The, the heaven that the width of it as samawat wal ard jannatun arduha as samawat wal ard the width of the, the the heaven is the earth and the heavens and and the the, the skies as samawat wal for what just to be uh, empty but you have to go to the school to know how to go to jannah you have to ask you have to have a teacher to guide you to the straight way. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to the nation as a teacher, as a teacher to teach them how to go on the straight way. And if we didn't find our straight way in the life, and if we didn't go and move on this straight way in the life, we will not succeed to move on it in the next life 100% some people think that the, the straight way it is in the next life and we will walk on it over the hill to the Jannah yes it is the way to the Jannah but this way start from your life start from now start, start from dunya and if you, you if you didn't move on the straight way in the dunya you cannot move on it in Akhirah. Some people said, oh, he do what he would like to do in dunya. And in Akhirah, I said, mm, I will be good. I will be fine. Everything. No, it's, it's just the wishes. It's the wishes. And if you didn't practice according to what Allah Azza wa Jal asked us to do, the result will not be in a good way. It is not a matter of dua. It's a matter of work and dua. It's a matter of practicing and make Dua to Allah Azza wa Jal. It is not a matter of name. If I said, oh, I am, my name is Khalid. My name is Muhammad. My name is, so that means I am Muslim. No. Are you practicing how Islam asks you to be? This is the, the reality. Unfortunately, the Muslim nowadays becoming far away from the meaning of real Islam. The reality today is far away from the meaning of the Quran. The Prophet said, Ya Rabbi, inna qawmi takhadu hadha al-Qur'ana mahjura. My people forget the Quran. They read it. They read it. They decorated, but they didn't understand it. But they didn't follow it. But they didn't change their life according to it. Yes, we have to change our life. How can we improve our life? How can we elevate our life? How can we move from the materialism to the spirituality? This is the real life. Materialism is animal's life. Yes, we have this part in our life, but this is animal life. 
ذا انيمال ايت ذا انيمال هاف سكشوال ريليشن ذا انيمال بريز اند ذس از اور بارت بات وات از ذا ديفرنت ذا ديفرنت از اور mental life our reason life our way of thinking what is the different the different is our spiritual life our connecting to allah for this reason allah azza wa jal offer us this great jannah but if we going in a right way so it's sirat mustaqim not a matter of dua i, I, I know people 50 years make this dua And they are outside of the straight way, outside of the Sirat al-Mustaqim. The problem is to act and to practice. And as I said, the Muslim nowadays, more and more going far away from the reality of Islam, from the reality of Quran. And I ask one of my brothers, he's a psychiatric. I ask him, please, I want the last research in this country, and this is very good things in this country that they make many research about everything and give you the accurate number and give you the details according the the group of the people, according to religion. I ask him, give me the percentage of, of suicide. What is the percentage of suicide between the atheist and between the religious people? He said the percentage in the atheist is more than the percentage of the religious people. And this is good. This is good that believing in Allah prevents suicide. Okay. But when I ask him, give me the percentage of suiciding between the uh, heavenly religion, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. And the shocked result that Islam is the highest percentage. Furthermore, our religion said that if someone, and he is normal, he is not sick, if he is normal and he suicide, he will be forever in Jahannam suiciding himself. This is the Islam. And nowadays, the percentage of suiciding between Muslims is more than the other religion. What does that mean? That means most of the Muslim are just Muslim by name. We just take care of the appearance and the appearance will end sooner or later. One small virus close the haram Makki, close the haram madani. One small, one small virus close the masajid. So if we rely on the appearance, appearance will finish. But if the Iman is reality, if the Iman is like a great tree, the root of it going deeply in the soil and the branches reach the heaven and give us a lot of fruit every time, this is the reality of believer. The reality of believer is like this tree. The believer is like a great star shining to the creation in the heaven. They, they look, they found all the airs swimming in the darkness. But they said, oh, look, there is a star here shining, shining by the name of Allah. There is a star shining to the uh, creation, to the angels, to, to the world of Malakut, ila alam al-Malakut. They look and see, look, There is brightness, real brightness point. This is the real believer who make bring to Allah, who make tahajjud to Allah, who make real dhikr to Allah, who export the nur of Allah to his heart and to the heart of the other people. For this reason, for this reason, we have to know more and more the straight way. And Allah Azza wa Jal told us, that there are people who I guided them to the straight way. أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَى اللَّهِ فَبِهُدَاهُمْ اِقْتَدِي Allah said that those people Allah guided, so follow their guidance. Who are those? The prophets. The prophets, this is the highest nobles 
category of the humanity. The prophets, those people who spend their life, who became very patient, why to deliver to us the real message? Why to teach us in a right way, in a pragmatical way, how to know Allah, how to love Allah, how to connect to Allah. So those are the real leaders for humanity. Those are the real heroes to the humanity. Those are the first people who should study their lives, study their biography. Unfortunately, nowadays, the human, the media fabricated to us false heroes fabricated to us satanic he heroes, yeah. Some of the playing uh, sports, some who making beauty, some, 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 and, 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 and you find on the media a lot of these things. But what about the real heroes who spend their life? What about Nuh alayhi salam, who spent his life day and night, day and night, calling the people to Islam? How about uh, Hud alayhi salam, Who, who put all his life to his people. This is the people who should ask about their stories, about their life. But the problem is in the stories of those heroes, now there are a lot of lies because there are many resources and not all of these resources are pure. The best way and the best place from where we can get this story is from the Quran, from the book of Allah, from the stories Allah narrated to us. And Allah said in the Quran at the beginning of Surah Yusuf, the number of Surah Yusuf is 12. Allah said, نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ Ayah number three, Surah Yusuf. نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن We narrated to you the best story When we reveal to you this book When we reveal to you this Quran نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين And before it you are not knowing about this This is how Allah told the Prophet This is how Allah said to the to the Prophet. Now we reach the story of another hero. Now we will go for another page in the brightness, in the lightness history of the humankind. And now we will reach the story of Nabiullah Salih, the Prophet Salih alayhi salam. The Prophet Salih alayhi salam is another page of the history of the human. Nabiullah Salih alayhi salam is another battle, another war between the nur and the darkness. The story of Nabiullah Salih is another battle between truth and false, between the right and the wrong between the nur of Allah and the darkness of the Satan. Nabiullah Salih was very great prophet who came to very great nation. And this is very important point. He was a prophet to very great nations, not to the poor nation, not to the weak nation. No, they were very powerful. They built the houses in the mountain. They make very great building, very great civilization. It is like the modern civilization nowadays in our world. So Nabi Allah Salih, like Nabi Lahud, coming to the very powerful nation. And the story of Nabi Allah Salih with his people, Allah, Mention it, Allah mentioned it, mention the name of Nabiullah Salih nine times in the Quran. Allah mentioned his name nine times in the Quran. And he mentioned uh, his uh, story and the story of his people 
the story of Nabiullah Salih and the story of his people and the name of his people are Thamud, the people of Thamud. Allah mentioned this in about 20, in about 20, uh, in about 20 position in the Quran. Allah mentioned this in Surah Al-A'raf. Surah Al-A'raf, the Surah number seven. Allah mentioned the story of uh, Salih from Ayah 73 to Ayah 79. Allah mentioned the story of Salih and the biography of Salih alayhi salam in Surah Hud. The number of Surah Hud is 11. And he mentioned it from Ayah 62 to Ayah 68. Allah mentioned the story also in Surah Al-Hijr. Surah Al-Hijr is number 18. From Ayah number 80 to Ayah number 84. Allah mentioned in Surah Shu'ara, in Surah Al-Naml, in Surah Al-Qamar. Surah Shu'ara 26, Surah Al-Naml 27, Surah Al-Qamar 54. In this surah, Allah mentioned the story of Salih alayhi salam in, in details. And he mentioned the story in Surah Al-Isra, number five, in Surah Fussilat, number six, in Surah Zariyat, number seven, in Surah Al-Haqqa, number eight, in Surah Al-Fajr, in Surah Al-Shams, but not in details. And Allah reflect to the story of Nabiullah Salih alayhi salam in Surah Al-Tawbah, in Surah Ibrahim, in Surah Al-Hajj, in Surah Al-Furqan, in Surah Al-Ankabut, in Surah Saad, in Surah Ghafir, in Surah Qaf, in Surah Al-Najm, in Surah al Buruj. Why I mention all of this? All of this reflect how the story of this Prophet is important. It's important to us to clarify the straight way. It's important to us to know what is the main station on the straight way. It's important to us to know what is the exit the Satan put to go out of the straight way. And if you go out to the straight way, there is only two other possibilities. The way of the straight people and the way of the people who get the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is, this is the problem. This is the way. This is how we should understand the straight way and how to figure out the straight way and how to feel and know the straight way. As we said, the first, it starts in Surah Al-A'raf. Surah Al-A'raf, the number of Surah Al-A'raf is number seven. And the ayat is from the 73 to the 79. In Surah Al-A'raf, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in ayah number 73, that وَإِلَى ثَمُودْ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحًا وَإِلَى ثَمُودْ To the people of Thamud, their brother, Salih. The Prophet is the brother of Rejector. The Prophet is a brother of the people who acting against Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet is a brother to the people who worshipping the idols. Did the Muslim act in this way nowadays? Did we consider all human brothers and sisters to us? And we act them? Or, oh, those enemy, those so-and-so, those halal, those haram. The, this is how we act. But this is how Allah Azza wa Jal asks us to act. All humanity in different religion, in different colors, in different believes he is atheist he is my brother she is atheist she is my sister yes this is how we act and we didn't uh, acting just uh, no this is re reality I deal with him as my brother and I deal with him as my sister what does that mean what does that mean if someone if someone knows that his brother will go to hell he will accept or he will do his best. If someone knows that his sister will go to the fire, to he will accept or he will do his best. 
What the meaning of this when Allah said that all humanity is your brothers and sisters, that mean you should do your best to help the humanity to be in the right way. You should do your, be your best to help everyone to be in the right way. وَإِلَى ثَمُودَ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحًا Ayah number 73, Surah Al-A'raf, Surah Al-A'raf, Ayah number 7, Ayah number 7, Surah number 7, Ayah number 73, وَإِلَى ثَمُودَ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحًا قَالَ يَا قَوْمُ Oh my people, he didn't say, oh rejecter, oh the enemy of Allah, oh the people who will go to, to the hellfire, no. He said, O oh my people, O oh my people, ya qawm, u'budu Allah, worshipping Allah, worshipping Allah. And I told you, worship Allah. And I told myself, I should worship Allah. Oh, we are worshipping Allah. But you have to know that. Worshipping Allah is a school. Worshipping Allah is school. And in a school, every day you know something new. Did you get everything and new things in your worshiping? A new meaning, a new feeling. Feel you are closer to Allah. Feel you are more loved to Allah. Feel, this is the real worshiping. So he asked them to worship Allah in a, real, in a right way. This worshiping Allah is main station on the straight way for everyone. And Worshipping Allah in a wrong way is an exit from the straight way. And not to worship Allah at all is an exit from the straight way. So worshipping Allah is a very big sign that you are on the straight way or not. And as I said, worshipping Allah in the right way. Worshipping Allah through the school. Can anyone know mathematics without a teacher? Can anyone know the physics without a school and get the certificate without a college? It's impossible. And also, in the straight way, it is very important to have the teacher to the straight way. It's very important to have the school to know how to go and how to, to firm on the straight way. وَإِلَى ثَمُودَ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحًا قَالَ يَا قَوْمْ Oh my people, Worship Allah. ما لكم من إله غيره. He said that, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no God other than Him. There is no God but Him. There is no stone. There is no animals. There is no fruit. There is no trees. There, there is nothing deserved to worship Him except Him, the all power, except Him, the creator. Accept him the all wisdom. Accept him the source of knowledge. Accept him the source of nur. Accept him the source of love. Accept him the source of every goodness in this life. This is who deserve to worship him. This is who deserve to love him. This is who deserve to put your head in front of him. He is who deserve to ask him. He is who deserve to cry when you miss him. You, you feel that you want him and you cry and cry because, because you love him. And if you, and if you cry alone, when you're making zikr to him, you are one of seven types of people. Allah will cover you at the day of judgment. Sabatun yudilluhum Allah fi zillih. Seven people, Allah will protect them, will cover them with his shadow at the day of judgment when there is no shadow other his shadows. Sab'atun One of them, a person who make dhikr to Allah and his tears coming more and more because he feel this love. He feel this connection. He feel the meaning. He feel this nur in his, in his heart. Unfortunately, the people today waste their times. They don't know anything about this. They don't care and they don't, but believe me, all of, the, of them in urgent need 
to all this meaning. Their spirit is thirsty to this. Their soul is very hungry to this food. There are a lot of food to our bodies, but there is, there is very rare food to our spirit and to our soul. وَإِلَى ثَمُودِ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحِ To the people of Thamud, their brother Salih, and he said, Oh, my people, worship Allah. You don't have any other God except Him. قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ بَيِّنَةِ I bring to you clear sign. Clear sign. This is how we should bring to the people clear evidence not to put them in a fog, not to put them in complicated uh, meaning, not to put them in fabricated religion. The religion is very clear. It is like the sun in the noon time, how the sun is clear in summer, in, in sky. It's very clear. There's no doubt. This is how should we give the religion to the people. Religion is going completely with real science the religion is going completely with the right reason and the right mind and the right way of thinking and anything going opposite of this it is not a part of religion there is something wrong if someone told you this is from religion and it is not going one of of the rule that you don't accept the hadith if it is going opposite the real mind He said, no, this hadith, we have to check it. All the hadith is a wisdom. All the real hadith of Rasulullah is a wisdom, full of wisdom, full with good, full with knowledge, full with logic. And if we find something not like this, we say, okay, stop. We have to investigate about, about this. So, and the Prophet said, قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ بَيِّنَةٌ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ هذه ناقة الله لكم آية فذروها تأكلوا في أرض الله ولا تمسوها بسوء فيأخذكم عذاب أليم. This is a sign from Allah. This uh, female camel, camel female is sign from Allah to you. And inshallah we will go through the story about this female camel because there are a lot of imagination there are a lot of talking and writing and there is no support for this talking and writing and unfortunately we just keep talking and talking and make this uh, female camel like a super ma no no what Allah mentioned is very clear and we shouldn't go to th these stories and talk about it any more because there is no evidence about this and after this Allah Azza wa Jal said In Surah Al-A'raf, ayah number 50, 74-7, Allah said, وَذْكُرُوا إِذْ جَعَلَكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ مِنْ بَعْدِ عَاد So Allah talking to the people of Thamud that remember how Allah make you the representative, the controller, the ruler on the earth after the people of Aad. So, This is when some people go, other people come. But we have to see the wisdom. In, in the 1940, in the 1940, in the 20th century, who was controlled the world? France and England. And they occupied most of the modern world, most of the world, and divide all of it. But when Germany came, Germany occupied these countries and destroyed everything in these countries. And in the Second World War, more than 70 million people killed in this world. So you see, nothing going on. And after this age, two great countries appear, two great powers appear, Soviet Union and United States of America. Soviet Union become, became the source of atheists, the source of neglecting the uh, religion, neglecting the existence of God. What happened to them? What happened to them in, 90, in 1990? This great nation collapsed. Collapsed. 
this is lesson to everyone. This is an example to everyone that if you act in a wrong way against the creator, that means you judge for yourself with the bad, with the bad end. قال الملأ واذكروا إذ جعلكم خلفاء من بعد عاد وبوأكم في الأرض تتخذون من سهولها قصورا وتنحتون الجبال بيوتا فاذكروا آلاء الله ولا تعثوا في الأرض مفسدين Remember when he made you successors after عاد and lodged you on earth you make castles in the plains and in Everywhere in the mountain, you build houses. So be mindful of the bounties of Allah. Be mindful of the bounties of Allah. Today we are not. Today we are not grateful for the bounties of Allah. Today we complain and complain and complain. If someone have has eight and he missed the two. He didn't thanks for the eight. He complained for the two he missed. When he felt about this, when he lost the graces, when he lost the bounties, when we are in good health, we didn't th- say, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I'm breathing very well. Did you thank Allah for breathing very well every, every day? But when someone will go to hospital because of Corona and he, he, he couldn't, breathe and they put to him the oxygen and they put them now he feel about this bounties of Allah when someone eat and he didn't thank Allah for eating but when he feel problem in his stomach and he cannot eat anymore now he feel now he feel about the bounties of Allah we live in an ocean of bounties of Allah we live with endless so all the messengers all the prophet insist on this point that don't forget mention the bounties of Allah mention the bounties of Allah why to mention the bounties of Allah if we mention the bounties of Allah we will remember to thank Allah about it if someone said okay every day just sit and said how many bounties Allah gave to me just close uh, your eyes for one minute what about the blind people they don't know the colors They don't know the shape. They don't know their face. But if Allah give you this bounty, did you thank Allah for it? What about the people who are deaf? What about the people who are mute? There are a lot here and there. But unfortunately, we, we forget. So every day we should thanks Allah for his bounties. what we know and what we didn't know because what we didn't know is more than what we know allah has just said if you try to count this bounties it is countless thanks allah is a great station on the straightway neglect forget not to thanks allah is great exit from the from the straightway for this reason Salih alayhi salam insist to his people فذكروا آلاء الله and if we remember the bounties of Allah you will not you will not spread disorder in the earth you will not spread you will spread the everything good but unfortunately today today people spread the disorder everywhere We take the crocodile and make from his leather uh, bags. We take the snake and made, uh, make from the leather belt. We kill the dolphins. We kill the shark. We kill the whales. Eh, the corruption now everywhere. We break the uh, layer of ozone. We, we destroy this great planet. Yes, as a human in our manufacturing, in our bad acting. In, so Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Rum, Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Rum, the number of Surah Al-Rum is number 30. Uh, but I don't remember the number of the verses. Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Rum that ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر The corruption appear in the land and the sea. بما كسبت أيدي الناس 
because of the human, because of the way human acting in. فاذكروا آلاء الله ولا تعثوا في الأرض مفسدين. May Allah help us to firm ourselves on the straight way. May Allah make us understand the biography of the prophets in the Quran to make us more and more understanding the straight way. May Allah help all of us to make the real zikr, to satisfy him and to love him and to be with Allah in the best way he wants us to be on it. والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم أعنا على دوام ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك ولا تجعلنا يا إلهنا يا مولانا من الغافلين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وجعلنا هداة مهديين غير ضالين ولا مضلين ولا نداما ولا مخزيين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين إلى شرف النبي وارواح المؤمنين الفاتحة